A farming we have gone, a farming we have gone. That's where the parkers are today, a farming we have gone. Sorry we missed your call, and that is also true. But leave your message right after the tone, and we'll get back to you. Have a great day. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Hello everyone, this is Roy and you're listening to The Snowplow Show for July 20th, 2015. Today is Monday. I think it's been like a week since I did my last show. I'm really sorry about that. But life got in the way again. I need to stop having a life. Hopefully I'll be able to do more shows this week than I did last week. I have some breaking news today about the last homeowners association thing that we did. Uh, the, the numbers that were sent in by Desi Guy, you know, the homeowners association where the mobster Frank worked mobster frank from new jersey they took down their pdf directory from the website it's been permanently removed from their website all thanks to us we've made things better there a couple weeks ago there was a note on the main page that said the the phone directory was temporarily gone and that it would return soon but then i just checked today and it says the telephone directory has been permanently removed from this site so it's gone forever i guess they took a vote at the homeowners association meeting and they completely removed it. And I forget whose show I was on, but we actually called Frank one night. We called a bunch of other people on the show. It was either Mistress Morgan's show or Neon Like Bjork's show, I think. Or maybe it's Carlito's show. I don't know. There was a bunch of people on. I talked to Frank, though, and I told him that we were just calling people from their own directory that they put up on the website. So it was their fault. I can't remember what his response was. But whatever. We did good. Thanks to our prank calls, though, the list is gone, and it won't be abused by uh, Nigerian scammers or maybe some guy that steals social security checks. All of those crimes are not going to happen because of us, because we made them take the list down. So I think we did a good job there. Oh, and I looked in their newsletter on the website, too. There was nothing in their newsletter about the pranks. That was kind of disappointing. I guess they didn't want to talk about us since they know we're on their website. By the way, today's show is sponsored by Robert Spencer. Robert is a Patreon supporter, so thank you very much, Robert, for sponsoring the show today. Today we're going to call a bunch of owners of condos, and this appears to be a homeowners association sent in by Ozzy Jack. So thank you, Ozzy Jack, for sending this in. Uh, He found the list online of a, a PDF of all the residents that didn't have their phone numbers, so he went and looked up the phone numbers to every one of these people, which sure seems like a lot of effort, so I'm just going to feel bad when all of these end up sucking, and I do a terrible job with them. But thanks, Ozzy Jack. I will do my best with these. I don't know if I'm going to do them all right now, but I'm going to do some of them. He says there are 97 numbers on this list. Hello? Hello, Ruth? Who's calling, please? Well, is this Ruth? Don't, don't be a smartass, lady. Who's calling, please? I'll ask you one more time. I'll ask you one more time. Is your name Ruth? No, it is not. And I, I, if if you're going to answer me again that way, I'll hang up. Hang up then. I don't care. You won't find out what I was going to tell you, though. What are you going to tell me? Well, you'll never know, because you're going to hang up on me. (laughs) I'm not going to take that shit from Ruth. Or, sorry, not Ruth. Go Hello, Chuck? Yes. Hey, Chuck. This is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And uh, I just needed to let you know we're going to have to chop down that tree in your front yard. In your front yard? Yeah, we're going to have to chop it down. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <clears throat> what tree? Well, you know, the one in the front. The one closest to in- the front. Huh? I got two in the front. Yeah, well, they're both going to have to go because there's this guy over on, um, he's on Benson Court. I, I spent $600 to put that tree in. You're not taking it out. Hey, honey, wait a minute. Just a minute. Uh, oh, no. I don't know. Those, huh? t- the, somebody else. those Are you sure you're, you're, what's your last name? Stevens? No, I, I know who I'm talking to, and those trees, they're as good as gone. We're, we're, they're, you're, they have to. You're, 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 you're,
I think you think you're talking to somebody else because you're not on the board. Yes, I am. What are you talking about? I know who I'm talking to. This is Chuck. Chuck and Martha. Yeah. I'm not stupid. Steve? Steve? Yeah, we're going to be taking those trees down. I just, I work with the landscaping division of the Homeowners Association. But yeah, the trees, they're in the way of the sky. He likes to look through his telescope and your trees blocking his view. Oh, I'll start crying out loud. (laughs) Yeah, so those... Oh, why is it? Yeah. What is this? An April Fool's joke or something? Uh, no, it's July, dummy. Yeah. Well, uh, ah. meet you in person because I I don't remember you being on the board. When did you join the board? Oh, just don't worry about it. But look, when you hear us chopping down your trees, don't give us any shit because those trees are gone. Well, somebody's gonna die, maybe. Who? What is that? A threat? That's, don't threaten the now, homeowners association. Are coming down. That tree that I put in in front of our house is not coming down. Oh, it has to. It's in the way. Somebody is going to pay for it. Well, it's not going to be us. Somebody's going to pay us so- big time. Sounds like it's going to be you. No, it ain't going to be me. Well, you're, you're, the, du- your you're the dummy that, that put it there without permission. I did not put that there without permission. That was given. The board approved that. Bullshit. The board approved that. No, they didn't because I'm on the board and I would have heard about it. I was on a board for 14 years, okay? Yeah, but are you anymore? No. That doesn't give you... No, I'm not. That doesn't give you the right to do stupid things. Lucky that I'm not on the board. Well, anyway, we're taking that tree. You take that tree, homeowner association is going to pay for it. No, we're going to get money for it. Do that right now. We're going to sell it to someone. We're going to transplant it in another area. Oh, shit. You're just a bunch of crap. You're... you're, Hang up on him. This is ridiculous. Hey, tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. You shut your mouth. You're talking to my wife, and you don't use that kind of language. I know. Go but to she, hell. She was being an. The number you have reached has been disconnected or is no longer in service. All right. Rest in peace, Mary Stroh. You will be missed. Hello. Hello, Nona. Yes. Hi. This is Dave. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Grass Tree Court. Yes. And uh, I was lying in your grass, on, in your lawn last night, and yes. there was there was dog poop in your yard, and it got in my hair, and I just don't appreciate it. I don't have a dog. Well, it's the dog shits in your yard, though, and you should you should be cleaning that up. Why were you lying in my yard? I was looking at the stars. Oh, I don't have a dog, and I don't have a dog. Okay, well, there's there's dog poop in your yard, so I think... Where is it at? You should be responsible. It's in the backyard, right in the middle, right where I was lying, in the backyard. You know, that's kind of scary that you're lying out here in the yard. My yard. That's... Why you should it, be in your own yard. Why is it scary? No, I don't like my yard. I'm looking out of my backyard right now, and I don't see any dog doo-doo. Well, can you go out there and look really close? I mean, most of it ended up in my hair. It was such an inc- You know, what, what's your name? This is, this is Dave. It was such an inconvenience. I had to go home and wash my hair. What's your last name, Dave? Reynolds. And, you know... Okay, I think I'll call the police and uh, tell them that you were lying in my yard. For what? For what? That's not illegal to lie in someone's yard. Well, it's kind of strange. Well, it may- and I don't want you to ever do it again. Well, no, I, your your yard is my favorite. I, it's not. I'm not bothering anyone. You're not using the yard at three in the morning. That's kind of scary. How is it scary? Because I don't know you, and you could break into my house, and uh, I have never broken into anyone's house. That's such a rude thing to accuse me of. Well. Um, You're just letting your imagination run wild. All I'm doing is looking at the stars. Look at them in your own yard. No, I don't uh, like my yard. There's too much light over here anyway. Well, go to someone else's yard and don't do it in my yard. But you you have the best yard in the back. I think I'm going to call the police. For what? What would you tell them? That you're lying in my yard at 3 a.m. and I don't like it. Well, that, that's just a waste of the police's time, because they don't care what you like. Oh, they're there to serve and protect. 
Right, but th- they're not they're not your counselor or anything. You know, it's, it's I don't not, need a counselor. It's not you even... need a counselor. If you're out wandering around the neighborhood at 3 o'clock in the morning and lying in people's yards, there's something wrong with you, Dave. I'm a night owl. I can't help it. I just, I like being up at nighttime. But no, but nobody's using their yard at 3 in the morning. I, I lie in everyone's yard. It's not just you. Oh, I just like strange. to lie in the grass and smoke a little bit of weed. Mm. And look at the stars. Well... well. Pick somebody else's yard, because I'm going to call the police. Well, <sighs> Conversation is over. No, it's not, because we're still talking. It is right now. No, no, we're still talking, see? <laughs> okay, now it's over. She wins. What do you guys think? Is that illegal for me to go and lie in someone else's yard and look at the stars? That doesn't seem like an illegal thing to me. I'm not hurting anyone, come on. Hello? Hello, Ricky? Hi, this is Roy. I, I live over on Grass Tree Court. I'm your neighbor. Yeah. And um, I, I just wanted to let you know, like last night I was lying in your backyard in the grass, and there was dog poop in the yard, and it got on my hair. So, do you have a dog there? No. Oh, well, how how is there dog poop in your backyard? Well, I'm not sure I can answer that. Hmm, me either. Well, anyway, you owe me some uh, a handful of shampoo, because I had to go home and shampoo my hair. Sorry. Can I just come by with, uh, like, a cup, and you can put shampoo in it? No. Why not? Because. Because why? Because I said no. Well, no, this, this, this isn't fair, because I had to wash my hair because of you. Life and, isn't fair. Okay, well, why do you have dog poop in your yard? When I'm, Bye. I'm just trying to lie in your yard and get dog poop in my hair. <sighs> this whole idea is not going well. I think I'm going to need to retire this one. Hello? Hello, Robert? Hello? It's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Grass Tree Court. You're who? This is Roy. Okay, we had to pull on... Okay, say say again. Oh, my name is Roy. I'm your neighbor. You are? Yeah. So last night, I, I was lying in your grass. I was lying in your yard. And I got dog poop in my hair. So? So? Uh, don't, aren't you sorry? Because I had to go home and wash my hair and then come back. You're Roy and you laid down in my backyard... And you got dog poop in your hair? Yes, sir. And I had to go home and wash my hair and and come back. So? Well, it was really inconvenient, and you should at least be sorry. I don't have a dog, my friend. Well, the dog poop was in your yard. You can go check. I don't give a damn where it was. It's not my fault. Bye. Well, you should give a damn, because it's in your... <laughs> Let me try him back one more time. Hello. Hey, I I just, I need some shampoo. I need you to replace the shampoo that I lost. What? I had to use shampoo to wash my hair because of the dog. I don't give a damn hell. What were you doing in my yard? I was looking at the stars. It was about three in the morning. You were looking at the what? The stars. You sound like a nut to me, pal. Bye. Wait, why do you say that? Damn. Hello, John? Yes? Hey, it's Roy. I- I'm your neighbor. I live over on Grass Tree Court. Oh, yeah. And uh, I-, I was uh, lying in your yard last night, and there was uh, dog poop in your yard, and it got in my hair. Hmm. And, um, yeah, it's really inconvenient. Do you have a dog there? No. Oh. Well, how's there dog poop in your backyard? I have no idea. Huh. Uh, I mean, I I have an idea. There's somebody who does have a dog <laughs> that's, oh. uh, that's not doing what they ought to be doing. Yeah, it's like right in the middle of your backyard when I was trying to lie in the middle of the backyard and got I had to go home and wash my hair and then come back. Well, you were laying down? Yeah, in your backyard. Well, I, 
I, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, you know, it's, uh, um, can't you say <laughs> you're sorry? I, I, I guess I, I'm, I'm sorry it happened, but I have no control over it. Well, it's your yard. I mean, you should cl- keep your yard cleaned up. Oh, come on. It was a really big piece of dog poop. You should have seen that. I couldn't see it because it was dark out. Well, I, I'm a little curious why you're lying in my yard it's after dark. I was looking at the stars. It was a clear night last Haven't night. Haven't you got a yard to look in your stars? Yeah, but I don't really like my yard, and there's a big tree in the way. So I just borrow random right. yards. Well, I, I uh, if I, I saw you lying in my yard at, at night, I'd probably would call the police. Well, that wouldn't be very neighborly. Why would you do that? Because there's some strange person lying in my yard. Well, just go out and, and, and ask who they are and what they're doing. Don't be a pussy. Come on. Well, I think you're the one that's getting that way. I have no control over somebody who who comes on my yard any more than you. No, you could just tell and, me to leave. I would leave their dog manure. I and, would, and uh, uh, if uh, <laughs> you're trespassing, then uh, uh, and on my yard. That's not trespassing. It's just your yard. It is trespassing. Well, you didn't ask me to leave. I mean, if you came out there and said, "Hey, go to the next door neighbor's yard," I, I would just do that. Well, I think I think somebody's dog poop pretty well did that for me. What what is your address? Um, I'm over on thirty seven oh eight Grass Tree Court. Thirty seven oh eight Grass Tree Court. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, come on. Well, I would just just you don't have to call the police when you see someone in your yard. Just go out and talk to them. That's what I would do. Why would I bother the police with that? I guess you you have never had a situation where somebody drew a gun on you. Well, no, I don't even have a gun. Why would I draw a gun on you? I'm just looking at the stars. I don't know that. This is a ridiculous conversation. It's very what, what, very clearly. Uh, I, 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 I just I have a joint in my in my hand usually, and that's it. When I'm looking at the stars, there's no gun. You couldn't mistake that for a gun. You've got a joint in your hand while you're sitting there, laying there in my yard, watching the stars. Yeah, it's okay. I've got a medical card. It's legal. You got a medical card. I see. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll I would suggest it. you might lie in somebody else's yard to watch the stars. Well, they'd probably say the same thing. Well, then it must be a trend, huh? Must be. Well, I would suggest if you see someone lying in your yard, don't call the police on them. Just, just go out there and make a conversation, you know? Well, you know, a lot of people got shot doing that. Making conversation? And nowadays, I don't trust anybody. I'm starting to feel threatened. Oh, for goodness sakes. You're threatened. You're threatening me. No, you're threatening to you shoot me. you want me to take care of somebody else's dog manure. Well, it's in your yard. You, sh- you should... You should wa- I don't... Uh, where? How close to my house were you? I, I was in the middle of the backyard. Halfway between the two houses? Yeah. Oh, that's not my yard. Talk to the talk to the. Uh, no, it was your yard. That's community it, pro- That's community property. Well, no, I was. My in the, yard goes. My yard goes ten feet out, just like yours does. Uh, no, no, I was within that ten. I was in your yard. I'm in the middle of your yard, not the middle of all of the yards. You mean you were within ten feet of my house, laying on the ground, watching the stars? Yeah, it's a perfect spot. You should come out there with me, and watch the stars. Well, I'm sorry you <clears throat> had that problem, but uh, it's uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, you, you probably better bring a flashlight because you're going to find that a, a occasionally all over the place. Okay, so, so, so I have uh, your permission then from now on, just as long as I bring a flashlight? This is the most unusual conversation I've ever had. It's not that unusual. I, I'm just it, a night. I'm a night owl. You're, you're you're asking permission as long as you bring a flashlight to lay in my yard. Yeah, just don't mistake the flashlight for a gun. Outside my bedroom window. Well, not outside your window. Come on, I'm just in the yard. Of course it is. You're making it sound That's like I'm a peeping tom. Well, how do I know the difference? I mean, I can be as ridiculous as you are. <laughs> you know? 
I don't know about that. You can use my yard when you when I'm not using it, which is pretty much all I the time. I have no use to go in your yard. <laughs> well, I'm just saying you could. We, well, we, we should I, all be neighborly. I, I, I'm sorry this happened to you, and uh, and uh, I would prefer that uh, you you not lie on the ten feet right behind my house. Okay. All right. I won't again then. All right. Thank you. Oh, and uh, can I come by and just get a cup of shampoo to replace what I had to use last night? No, you'll have to talk to whoever dogs it was. No, but it was in your yard, so I think you owe oh, me the, come the now. shampoo. Come now. It, uh, just a, uh, not, you better talk to or somebody about this, because I, I think this is ridiculous. Well, it's just a little bit of shampoo. It's not even that much. You you want a little bit of shampoo to replace that that you use? Yeah, I don't even dog use manure. Let, let's uh, get a get a picture of how ridiculous this is. It's you not, want a, a ounce of shampoo to replace the shampoo you use? I don't use to wash your hair while you laid in my yard and happened to land in somebody else's dog manure. Yeah, well, uh, we that don't know that for straight? sure. I think it could be yours because it was in your yard. How could it be mine? I don't have a dog. Well, maybe you, you think pooped. I go out there? Maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe you're crazy. You're the one that's being all weird and saying I have a gun. Well, I, I think uh, you should take this up at the board meeting the next time it's up. Well, How about just a half an ounce of shampoo? You're kidding me. Well, it seems fair. I had to wash my hair because of you. It, re- it really messed up my high. I bet it did mess up your high. Yeah, it's a real bummer having to just stop what I'm doing and, and go wash my hair in the middle of the night. Yeah, well, that's the reason people aren't supposed to leave that there. Yeah, you should have cleaned that up. That's the reason people no, should clean up their own yards. I don't even go out there. Well, and my, why should I clean up somebody else's? So I don't get it in my hair. So you don't get it in your hair. Okay. Well, sure, come on over and you get your half ounce of shampoo okay i'll be there soon yeah can i have conditioner too oh guess not finally somebody wants to argue with me about lying in their yard at night took long enough i guess i can stop doing those for a while maybe i'll actually pretend to be the homeowners association for a while i pulled up this guy's house on street view oh hello this is roy from the homeowners association is charles around uh, yes, he is. Just a minute, please. Okay. Hello. Hello, Charles. Uh-huh. Hey, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Uh-huh. And I just needed to talk to you about those hobo rocks you have out in your yard. Oh, they're in, uh, on that wall? Yeah, yeah, if you want to call it a wall. It looks like a bunch yeah. of sandbags or something. It looks really, uh, yeah. really ugly and hobo-ish. Yeah, could you take those down real quick? Can I take them down? Yeah, just take them down, to put them out in the back or something where no one can see them. Well, it's not my responsibility, is it? Well, I think it is. You're the one that put well, them there. Why would that? Why would it be my responsibility when it's out there next to the sidewalk? Well, you put them there. No, I did not put them there. Oh, who put them there then? They were there when I got here. Oh, I don't believe that. They, they no. redone it one time. We don't have any records of it being like that before you moved in, so you need to get rid of those those rocks. Hey, look, I'm not going to do nothing with them. Believe me, I didn't put them there. They were there when I moved in. They fell down one time when we had somebody to straighten them up and oh, c- because they c- had c- fallen down, and that's all I know. And the, they're up way out there next to the sidewalk. I think they're, that shrub. They're, they're a uh, risk. They're a safety risk because they keep falling down. They could, like, crush a child or something. Uh, you must have the wrong number. Where are you at? Who are you calling for? Well, I'm calling for you over on <laughs> Drive. Well, that's right, but there's no something out there that's going to fall down. Well, you just said they fell down, and you had to have someone come and stack they them back straightened, up. Well, they wasn't really straight. They didn't fall out on the sidewalk. They just looked ragged. Can't you but put I just s- had them restacked See, up. See, so you admit they look ragged and hobo-y. You should take them down because they're ugly. Uh, hey, believe me, they're- I am not going to take them down because it's not my responsibility that is out next to the sidewalk. And they're plumb out of my reach. They're, bring, okay? they're bringing down All the value of the neighborhood. All I'm responsible for is 10 foot out. 
They're they're bringing down the value yeah. of all the other houses in the neighborhood because they're so ugly. Well, then you should have noticed a long time ago. Wait, why are you just now waking up? Then they look so bad. You should have cleaned them up where, a long time ago. Where have you been? Where have you been? Why why can't you clean them up? We but were, I don't want to clean them up because they're not my responsibility. We were kind of hoping you would just clean them up, but you're you're taking forever. Oh, tell that lady here. To be quiet. I'll let you talk to her. She'll give you a good ripping up. Here. Oh, I can't wait for that. Hello. Hello. This is Roy. From Are you talking about those rocks hey, out there? Hey, those hey, sandstone? Hey, shut up. Yeah, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Okay, yeah. that lady that's over it, Julie something. Yep. She got somebody over here to to take them down and straighten them. I went out there when they was. Almost done, and I said, that's a very poor job. Oh, well, they said, that's as good a job as we can do because they're ugly. of the roots in the evergreens. Why, why don't they put some, some mortar around the rocks so they don't fall down? I don't have anything to do with it. Why don't you go out there and do that? I wished I could. I do, I'm sure I'd do a better job, or I could get you maybe to come down and do it. Oh, no, I don't do that kind What's of work. What's your name? I don't do that kind of work. This is Roy. But maybe you should get out there and, and work on these rocks or just take them down because they're not allowed to be out there. We're going to charge you money if you don't take them down. Well, you're not going to charge me nothing because I didn't put them up. Oh, yes, we are because it's against the rules of the Homeowners Association. Well, then maybe I better call Julie tomorrow. Go and ahead. She will remember having these guys come down there and straighten <sighs> them. Julie's like I the, think they look terrible. Nobody trusts Julie. I think it's a very, very poor job. So you admit but they thought that's all they could do because of the roots. Well, I think you should just take them down and have a grass like normal people. I, I don't know, but I'm going to call her tomorrow, and I will let her know what you have uh, said to me. Okay. Now you give me your name again, make, so I can tell her who I spoke with. Make sure you tell Julie how uncooperative you were. Oh, I will. Yep, and, and oh, I'm not unquap. I'm telling you what a bad job it is. And you're wanting me to go out there and do that. Yeah. I'll go to her uh, office. Go out there right now and, and take those rocks down. Put them in the backyard. We can, I, I, don't, I don't have any room in the backyard. You can't have any... Uh, now, what did you say your name was? You can't have stupid-looking piles of rocks in your front yard. It's hey, against, what's your name? It's Roy for the billionth time now. Charles, did you understand what he said? Roy is all we can hear you say. That's all I said, dummy. Roy, yep. and you're calling me a dummy. Yeah, cool. You're being a dummy, so I have to. Uh huh. Well, I'll, I'll. Uh, I think I've got her number pretty close by me, and I will call her and I'll tell her what you have said. You already told me all this. You're repeating yourself. So you have okay, a really nice you, looking the house. The reason I'm doing this so can't, you'll understand. Can't can't you just take those rocks? And I don't want rocks? any mistakes. Just take those okay, rocks out listen, of your Okay, uh, listen, like I say, I will get Ugly. in touch with them, and that's what they Ugly. told me when they Stupid straightened rocks. them up that day. I said, that's a very poor job. Well, they not, said, that's the best we can do, and we will take this back to Julie. You're not even allowed to have rocks out there. Well, I don't care. Well, I'm not allowed. Oh, they you were don't there care. when I moved there. You don't think I got out there and put them up, do you? You, you probably did, because we don't have a record of those being there before you moved in. I think, okay, goodbye. I think you put them there. Why, he's a dumb... <laughs> Hi, Brad. It's Gloria. Hey, uh, Gloria. Remember those times when we used to uh, Facebook mob uh, basically businesses? We haven't done them in a while, haven't we? Um, nope. And I would like to do one again. Well, I would like to do one again. Sorry, I have a really bad speech impediment. Uh, you do. It's been kind of lingering. But yeah. anyway, uh, where, can we submit them to you still? I had this really good coffee shop that this one lady pissed me off at, and I would love to send you one. So are we still allowed to send you those just to let everybody know and let me know? No. Okay, bye. We do need to do that again, though. The next time I do a live show where I actually do more than just, you know, 40 minutes of some random list that I need the chat room's help with, I need to do live shows more often. I know this. And yeah, with that comes Facebook mobbing. And if really, if you want to email me something to Facebook mob, a, a good Facebook page that we can mess with for a day, sure, just email it to me, rbcp at phonelosers.org. And I may or may not use it. I think I have a list still of places that people sent to me a while back to do. Someone in the YouTube comments keeps bugging me about that too. Like every video I post, they're like, you need to bring back the Facebook mobs. 
I think it's been a year since I've done those, hasn't it? Hey, Brad. I'd say it's been around uh, about four years now, and since your last PLA radio episode, I'm still really looking forward to episode 30. Since it's been such a long, long time, I'm yep, it's almost you done. really amazing in store for us, so can't wait. Yep, PLA radio number 30. That's going to be out any day now. It's right around the corner. I bet you it'll be released right after Telephone Falls, episode two. Hey, what's up, Brad? Um, been hey. listening to you for a few na- few, uh, few years now, and um, you're fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, just know you got a fan of Missouri, man, and uh, keep it up. Thanks. Hello, Brad. This is Sana, and I am calling you from the Cat Owners Association. I needed to let you know that we've had several complaints about your. Oh. Your voicemail just cut me off. Ugh. I don't appreciate that. Blame it on my voicemail, whatever. But anyway, um, this is Sana here, and I'm calling you from the Cat Owners Association. Um, I need to let you know that we've had several complaints about your cat. Is she pooping in lawns, and it's getting in people's hair when they lay in the lawn? She's um, she's getting a bit overweight, and oh, okay. you need to do something about that, because she's bringing the value of all the houses in the neighborhood down. You know, the other day, she sat down on my cat, and I now have a flat cat. Aw. Yep. What was that? Flat a... like a pancake. A pancake cat is getting out of hand, Brad. There you go. I'm afraid she Rim might shot. eat my cat now that he looks like a pancake. It could happen. Do something about it. All right. I will. Goodbye, Brad. Bye. Hello, Brad. This is Stephen. I'm the new PL uh, chairman. Uh, another wanker. I just wanted to tell you that your last two shows have been fucking awful, all right? I mean, the Ouch. curling club calls you made were fucking boring, all right? Because it sounded like you had no clue of what you were saying and what you were meant or who you were talking to. Well, because I'm talking about field goals and, and the curling club balls or whatever I said. Now, however... We are. I, I have no idea what curling is. I admit that. I've never seen it on television. I've heard people talk about it, but I never actually looked at it to see what it was. But now I know. Now I'm a smarter person because of those phone calls. I'm going to keep you on as you've revived yourself with your uh, recent calls to the, uh, the elderly people that you've been picking on, people who have been suffering from pneumonia and God knows what else. I mean, we, we, you know, Roy, I mean, Brad, we would like you to actually pick on someone your own age. And someone your own size. Yep, no. that's why I can pick on elderly people, and it's not a problem. People in their 70s are about to just die. Fucking sort it out, Brad, all right? Otherwise, you're going to be fucking fired. Do you understand? I don't want that. I'm going to have to get Gloria back in here, because you're, at the moment, letting the team down massively. We're going to get Dwight, Gloria, and, uh, what's her name? Miss Morgan, or whatever you call her in there, to do your job, all right? You're fired if you carry on like this. Good. Goodbye. Don't need this job anyway. I am really behind on voicemails right now. Like, the oldest one, it's not old, it's 12 days ago, which isn't too bad, but apparently there have been a lot of voicemails left in the past 12 days. Probably people just yelling at me about my website being down, which should be fixed now, by the way, I think. We'll wait and see how it goes, I guess. Hey, Brad, it's your favorite boy from 609. Why, hello, sir. I am talking semi-normal because I actually have something cool to say. Um, I have a great idea of something you should actually do to your website. Okay. You should do what I just did. Just print out everything that's on there and then do this. Every page and rip it. Because <sighs> it's trash. People are so mean today. The hell? Every single one. Trash. You know how you love being on speaker, so I'm putting you on speaker too. And- oh, I'm just going to hang up on you then. Take that. Hey, dear Brad, it's Corbin Guy. Hey, Corbin yeah, Guy. It's, hey, you know what? It's been a little while. I'm not um, harassing you and uh, flooding out your voicemails on a daily basis like that. This this voicemail is two minutes long, though. Had been before. Um, so you're making up for it. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better. I joined the Matt Hillock Club. I'm officially a cripple. Yay! Yay. But uh, the point Congrats. of my phone call is... Um, uh, dude, is there something going on with my mobile, um, or is there something going on with uh, the phonelosers.org? Because every time, I, I like the .org page, but it automatically skips me over to the uh, .com page. Uh-huh. That I don't really understand. Well, this it- voicemail is from 11 days ago. So there was nothing wrong with my website 11 days ago. Unless there was. Maybe there was. I don't know. Navigate and 
don't want to install half of the apps on there and all that other crap. So, so no, my website's fine. It's your stupid mobile carrier. Maybe you can explain that in the next show. Um, what's going on with that? Or, or am I just technologically retarded? That's it. I bet that. I bet that's it. Unless it hey, a- hope you're doing well. <sighs> And all promises that I made to you, well, you know, they're lies. But yep. Um, yep. I, I'll try not to annoy your cat with this next round of stuff: stickers, paint. Oh, good. I, good. I'll just I'll just mail you a jar of like. A, Everyone's uh, calling me about my cat today. Something. Hopefully, it will crack in the mail. <laughs> Hope you're having a good summer. My cat's uh, a fat so, and he's addicted to spray paint huffing. Um, happy Fourth of July, and. Love you and all the listeners and everyone on Super. Oh, all right, you're really drawing this out. It's 20 seconds left. Bye, Corbin Guy. Oh, look, another voicemail from Corbin Guy that's 20 seconds long. Of course, I'm a liar. I, 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 I could not resist but to call back. Performance art time. This is music with a bottle opener. Thanks, Corbin Guy. It's beautiful. Gloria just messaged me on Skype and gave me the phone number of a lady that she just she saw her uh, takeout order at a restaurant that she was at. I guess she wrote down her takeout order information and she wants me to call this lady and tell her her order has been thrown out because there was an incident. And this is a bad idea to do this at all because this is just going to encourage Gloria to send me requests by Skype, which I don't do. God damn it, Gloria. But whatever, I'll do it this one time and never again. Hello. Hi, Mary Lou. Yes. This is Roy from Carabas. Yes. And you had this takeout order. Yes. Well, why are you acting like that? Why are you Why are you talking to me like that? Because I had to run inside to answer the phone. What do you need? Oh, I see. Well, it your your takeout order, it actually caught on fire. Uh, someone left it on a burner in the oven. I don't know what you mean because I have it. I know, but the first one we did. Okay. Because you didn't, you didn't hear about that? You didn't smell it when you no, came in? No, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, because your original takeout order, uh, someone left it on a burner and it caused a fire in the kitchen. And, and now, okay. the, now the fire department's saying we have to shut down for the day because you know, it set off the fire suppression system and everything. So you're telling me this why? Well, because you're responsible because it was your bag. It was your order, and you caused this. But so, I wasn't in your kitchen. I know, but it was your order. It's, you know, it's, you, you own it and everything, and it started the fire. Is this a joke? Of course not, ma'am. But no, you, you need to come in here and bring your checkbook. I'm sorry, I'm not returning. Goodbye. Why aren't you? No, you have to. You don't have a choice. What's wrong with this lady? You can't just commit arson and then hang up on me. Hello. Hey, you can't just commit arson and, and then just hang up on me like this. I wasn't in your residence, your pro- your property. Oh, yes, you were when you picked it up. So now you're lying to me. I was in the parking lot. I have never been in your building. Yeah, right. Well, your your meal caused a fire here. I'm calling the police. Why? Because this is harassment. This is not harassment. I cannot come back to your store. Why can't you? What are you doing? I'm taking care of my mother. That's not true. Oh, I am so calling the police on you. What is your name? Oh, now I'm not going to tell you because you're going to call the police on me. But I mean, you don't have to lie about, you don't have to lie and say you're taking care of your mother. (sighs) Everyone's calling the police today. Okay, thanks, Gloria, for that one. I, I guess I should have called it quicker since she'd already picked it up. So I guess I'm just going to do more of these uh, homeowner people from Aussie Jack since nothing else is working out today. I've tried to do other prank requests and they're just not going anywhere. So I'll just do this list. It's easy. Hello? Hello, Marilyn? Yes. Hey, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Laurel Court. I'm sorry? This is Roy. I, I live down the street from you over on Laurel Court. Uh, okay. And, uh, le- th- what? Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, um, and last, uh, last night I was laying in your yard. Last night, and uh, there was dog mess in your yard. 
Now I got dog poop in my hair. We don't even have a dog. Oh, well, there's definitely... We don't have a dog. There's dog poop in your yard, though. You're supposed to keep that cleaned up. Because I I was laying down in your backyard, and I I got my hair all messy. It was gross. Well, I'm sorry about that, but that must have been someone walking a dog. We don't have a dog. Oh, well, what would they be doing in your backyard? That's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, I've seen a lot of people walk... A lot, not a lot, but I've seen people walking through our backyard... Yeah, I was I was lying in your backyard, and and my hair just got. Dog- why, why were you lying in our backyard? Oh, I was looking at the stars. Looking at the stars. Yep. Why? How come you didn't lie in your own backyard? Oh, because uh, I don't know. There's too much light over there, and there's a big tree in the way. So I just always come to your backyard and lie down, and usually it's not a problem, but this time there was dog poop, and I got it all over my hair. I had to go home and wash my hair. Well, I'm sorry about that, but uh, we have nothing to do with that. We don't have a dog, and I don't know anything about it. Okay. It made me spill my beer. I had a beer in your backyard. Sorry? Back- I-, I was drinking a beer in your backyard, and I spilled it because I, w- I was so surprised by the dog poop in my hair. Well, I-, I can't help that. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking a beer out there. Oh, no, there's nothing wrong with drinking beer. I'm over 21. But anyway, I was but, hoping I could come by and maybe you could give me a uh, half an ounce of shampoo and a, and a 16 ounce beer, please, for my troubles. And that's a no. She hung up on me. This next one, I just looked at it on Street View, and they had this cute little fire hydrant in their front yard, which is painted silver on the bottom, and then the top part is painted dark blue. Which is kind of odd. I thought fire hydrants had to be yellow or orange or red or something. So I need to yell at them about this. Hello? Hey, Devin? Hello? Devin, is is this you? Hello? Hi, Devin? Hello? Hi, Devin? Yes? It's Roy from the Homeowners Association? Yes. Hey, um, we, we noticed that you painted that fire hydrant in your front yard... Yeah? You need to paint that back. That needs to be yellow. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't paint anything. Oh, yes, you did. We we know the fire department would not paint a fire hydrant blue and silver. Well, you got the wrong guy, Bob. I don't know who you are. You're, I'm from the you homeowners. you want to come to my front door and tell me that, I'll talk to you about it. Hey, listen here, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm no motherfucker. What are you? Well, I don't know. I'm I'm not someone that paints a fire hydrant in my front yard. Well, I'm not either. I don't even know where the fire hydrant is. Oh, yes, you do. It's right there in your front yard. Hey, I did not paint the fire hydrant. You're a liar and a thief. I, hey, you come to my door and tell me I'm a liar. Well, you, well, I, you come right now, Roy. What's your last name? If I come to your front door and you lie to me, I will tell you you're a liar. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come on in. Well, I'm come not. On. I'm not there. I'm on the phone. Are you opening your door well, for me right I'm now? A, I'm on my door right now. Why are you opening the door right now? I'm obviously not there. I said I'm waiting for you at the front door. Oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty far away. I have to walk all the way over. I don't care away. how far away you are. Why don't you come to my you house? Come. Why don't you come over here? Hey, hey, tell that lady in the background to be quiet. That's my wife. You want to talk to her? Well, tell her to shut up. Call her a liar. Okay. Tell, just tell her to be quiet. It's a homeowner association. Ted words. We couldn't have painted that far right well, what homeowner association are you? Uh, the one here in your neighborhood, dummy. Huh? I'm the one here in your neighborhood. Where? What the hell is that noise? Are you running the blender or something? No, that's my mixer. I'm busy. What are you doing? Uh, what are you mixing? What are you having to eat? None of your business. Okay, well, I'm just calling about the fire hydrant in your yard. You can't paint that silver. I don't have a fire hydrant in my yard. Yes, you do. It's right there in the corner. Well, if it is, it's no business of mine, unless my house is on fire. Well, the fire department's not going to see it if it's painted silver and blue. I know you, you know what? That is just stupid. You, I know you probably think it's cute that you painted it silver and blue, but you can't do that. You need to paint it yellow again. You know what? What? I don't even know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. So go, go call on somebody else. No, no you're a liar. There's no hydrant. It's no just a, somebody stupid, Devon. Ma'am... <laughs> Oh, I think that fire hydrant is actually a couple houses down. Oops. Street View lied to me. They said that was the house, but it's it's not. It's next door. 
and damn it, that house is not in this directory, which is all Ozzy Jack's fault. But it's okay, because I looked it up on White Pages, and we're going to see if it's a good number still. Hello? Hello, Mary? Yes? This is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Hi. Hi. Now, I'm just calling about that uh, silver and blue fire hydrant in your yard. Okay. You, You know that one I'm talking about? No, but I, yeah, I guess... I do. <laughs> well, yeah, you live on the corner, right? Where the blue and... Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, how come you painted the fire hydrant silver and blue like that? That's that's not up to code. The fire department's not going to see that. I never painted anything. Well, somebody painted it silver and blue, and it wasn't us. But, you know, those fire hydrants, they have to stand out so the fire department can see them. Uh-huh. I mean, um... I mean, what if your house were on fire and they couldn't find it because it looks too cute? Well, then we'll have to put out a, a, a all-points bulletin on a hydrant painter who's going around town and, and painting hydrants. Oh, sure, Because yeah. I didn't do it. That's very funny. No, we know it's you. It's okay. One of the neighbors <laughs> told us that it's you. Um, hmm. Come on, really. Come on, use common Dave? sense. You know that, that that's not legal, to have a silver fire hydrant? That's crazy. Dave? Yeah. Could I get your last name? Sure, it's Reynolds. And your number? Oh, it's on your caller ID. I, I'm on a regular phone now. Yeah, but... I, I'm it ha- not on a caller ID phone. Oh, and it's... Because I have a call coming at 7.30. And uh, oh. it's a conference call, so I'm going to have to get back to you. Who, who's calling you at 7.30? Well, who's calling you at 7.30? Nobody. No. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I just can I be on your conference call? No, you're not allowed. Why not? Because you're you're joking around about uh, fire hydrants. No, I'm not joking. You you have to know that's not legal, right? A blue and silver fire hydrant. Well, I don't know. Just paint- I have to check. I have to go to the law books and check it out. Just paint it yellow. No, you don't have to look at law books. Everyone knows this. You, you don't do blue and silver fire hydrants, you dummy. All right, you know what I'll do is I'll call Julie and report this, and, you know, maybe she can have one of the gentlemen that work for us on the grounds painted, okay? I am one of the gentlemen, but they shouldn't have to do this when you painted it. You're the one that painted it blue and silver. I, I have no recollection of ever painting anything in this house or around this house. So, um, I not me. don't believe you. <laughs> All right. Well, it's, it's been interesting chatting with you, and maybe you we'll too. chat again soon. Okay. Bye, honey baby. Good night. Have fun on your conference call. Well, she was too awesome to get angry at me. So I guess I need the legal experts who are listening to the show not only to tell me if it's trespassing to go lay in somebody's backyard, but is it legal to have a blue and silver fire hydrant in your yard? It's one of those fire hydrants that's not really on the side of the road. Instead, they put it in someone's yard for some reason. But this one is blue and silver, and I'm pretty sure Mary painted it. And she needs to be arrested. Go ahead. Hi, this is Mary. Please leave a message. Thank you. Uh, Apparently, recording an answering machine message is a team effort in that household. That was pretty great. Hello? Hi, Lois. You have the wrong number. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, Lori. Whoa. That was a really long hang-up time. I think that needs to be a contest. That should be a PCN contest. Who gets the longest hang-up time? Where somebody tries to hang up a phone and they can't. They just fumble around a whole bunch. I just checked, and that took 5.7 seconds for that lady to hang up. So if anyone can beat that, let me know for the new contest we're doing here at Prank Call Nation. Hello? Hello, Karen? Yes. Hey, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, I needed to let you know that you need to build a wheelchair ramp on the front of your house because we have a new postman who's disabled. 
So it's just, uh, you know, it's for the Americans with Disabilities Act. You need to put a wheelchair ramp on the front of your house. A wheelchair ramp? But the postman doesn't even come up to my door. Well, he might need to, though, in case he needs to deliver packages. Are you serious? Yeah. Everybody has to do that? Yeah, yeah. Just cause he's a disabled postman, and none of the houses are compliant on this street. And he's just going to be working on Wednesdays only. Is this for real? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we just need you to build a wheelchair ramp. and Every condo and the whole association and all the houses? and Yeah, yeah, because of this postman. He's disabled, but we may as well just go ahead and build wheel ch- wheelchair ramps on all the houses for, you know, what if we have a disabled FedEx driver or a meter reader or something or fireman? Oh, but where would you even put it? There's barely enough people. Does everybody have to walk up the wheelchair ramp? Yeah, well, you know, you could build one that's half stairs and half a ramp. I heard they, they, oh, well. the fire department, they actually have a disabled fireman uh, on the team now. So, you know, what if your house is on fire? He won't be able to get in because there won't be a wheelchair ramp. Well, how's it? Ever, this is everyone supposed to be everyone's responsibility? Yep, yep. Everyone has to put in a wheelchair ramp. We can't afford to do it for everyone, you know. Oh, well. But you got to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Okay. Yep. Well, I'll find out more about it later. I've got soap all over my face, and I can barely see. So well, that's hot. Uh, what, what were you doing? Yeah. Who is this? This is Roy from the homeowners association. You have soap on your face. Did it get in your eyes? Are you okay? It it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I need I need to get off. Maybe you should send stuff around to people so we'll know more well, about I'm, it. Well, I'm calling people so I don't have to send stuff around. You know, postage well, doesn't grow on trees. Well, all right. And, and how would the postman deliver it anyway if you don't have a ramp? Well, they could put it out at the end of the sidewalk, I guess. All I ever have delivered to my house is packages. Yeah, I don't ever see. have my mails in the mail. Yeah, you want to get Bank. those packages, though, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. So you better hurry well, up and build that oh, wheelchair yeah. ramp. Okay. Do it tonight. <laughs> I want it done. Uh, I will. By morning. I'll get out there in just a few minutes as soon as I get the soap. All right, up yeah. Day. Hurry the fuck up, okay? Uh, uh, yeah. But bye. All right, well. So I just talked to a lady that had soap all over her face. That's interesting. And then she was telling me how she needs to get off. Come on, lady, have some dignity. Don't even know you. Hello. Hello, Nancy? Yeah. Hi, uh, this is Roy. I'm a neighbor of yours. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, I just, um, last night I was lying in your lawn. You were doing what? I I was lying in your lawn last night, and there was... there was Lying in it? Yeah, yeah, I was just, uh, you know, looking at the stars about three in the morning. Oh, okay. (laughs) Well, you uh, you have to explain yourself on that one. (laughs) Oh, okay, yeah, I just did. Anyway, yeah, there was dog poop in your yard, and it got in my hair. Well, I don't have a dog. Okay, well, there's dog poop in your yard, and you you're, you should be keeping well, your yard picked up. Well, that may be up. true, but I'm not responsible for taking care of somebody else's dog poop. Yeah, but you're responsible for taking taking care of your own lawn. I don't think so. Oh, yes, you are. You have to keep your lawn mowed and poop-free. It's in the Homeowners well, Association. the only problem is that I live in a condo, and somebody else mows my yard. Okay, well, you should pay them better so they clean up the poop, too. Well, I don't know that that's... Whoever let the dog be in my yard is the one that's responsible for okay. it. Okay. Well, it just seems like a really huge inconvenience... Where do you live? ...for me when I'm trying to lie in your yard and I Where get do do- you live? I, I just live around the corner. I'm over on Laurel Court. Well, I don't know. I think you need to read the rules and regulations because I'm not responsible for dog poop. Okay. Well, I don't have a dog. It seems like you could be nicer about it or at least say you're sorry. Well, I don't understand why you're calling me when I, you know the rules that the person that owns the dog is the one that's responsible for picking it up. Yeah, but why don't you take it's, some... Pro- it's not the people that mow the yard. It's not their responsibility. Okay, but you live there. You, just, you should take some pride in your lawn and, and, you know, clean up the dog poop out of it so I don't get it in my hair all the time. Well, I can't help that. I'm sorry. I, I'm 84 years old, and I really am not able to go out and <sighs> clean up my yard all well, the time. Is this going to happen every time I lie down in your lawn? I'll get dog it poop? It could be. 
It could be. I don't have any idea who is doing it because I don't have a dog, and my neighbor's not here, so it must be somebody that's coming in from someplace um, from your area or someplace and letting the dog go to the bathroom. That seems unlikely. Are you sure you're not lying? Oh, really? Yeah, are you really? just... Maybe you're just lying. <laughs> you are really weird. <laughs> what? I'm not I weird. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't have a, a, a dog. All right, well... <laughs> I think this dog poop in my hair thing would do a lot better in a normal neighborhood. Because I guess these are condos. They don't have to take care of their yards or whatever their weird rules are. Let's call a few more before I give up. Ugh. The number you have reached has... Fucking Aussie Jack sending me bad numbers. Actually, this has been a pretty good list. Most of the people... Most of the numbers have been good, I think. There have been just a few wrong numbers and lots of people not picking up. Hello? Hello, Marsha? Yeah. Hey, Marsha, this is Roy. I live down the street from you. Okay. O over on Laurel. Okay. And uh, I was lying in your yard last night, and there was dog poop in your yard, and it got in my hair. Ew. I know, it's gross. You should pick up your yard. I don't have a dog. Oh, well, you have dog poop in your yard. I don't have a dog, so I don't know who is not picking up after their dog. Oh, well, you should take more pride in your lawn and clean it up more often. Well, I'm sorry. It's really inconvenient I, for me. I had to go home and wash my hair and then come back. Um, Why were you laying in my backyard? I, I don't like mine. I was just looking at the <laughs> stars, and I have a tree, oh. tree in my way. and. Okay. Yeah, I mean it, that's that's fine, but I like I said I don't I don't own a dog I don't have a dog I don't pick up in, in the common area. Okay, well it wasn't but, the common area; it was like your yard. You know, it was right by okay. your house. Well, I'll post a yeah. thing on next door neighbor that they need to start picking up after their dogs because that's not something I do is pick up after somebody else's dog. Yeah, well you should if it's your yard. And also, I spilled my beer when that happened. Okay. In your yard. Okay. So that that sucks. You know, that was a 20-ounce beer. Okay. Do, do you have um, a beer? Maybe I could come by and get it? No, actually, we don't drink beer. We okay. don't drink. Um, well, you know, I just figured it's kind of your responsibility because it was the dog poop in your yard. And I, I'm also out a quarter ounce of shampoo. Um, who I, is this? This is Roy. I live over on Laurel Street. Roy who? Yep, H-U. I'm sorry? Yes, Roy who? H-U is my last name. Okay. And you live on Laurel? Yeah, so you don't have any beer? No, I don't. We don't drink. Oh, do you have any weed? No. Cause I, was thinking I think this that, conversation's that, over. That would be the equivalent, you know? I'm sorry. This is over. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Whatever. Hello. Hello, Ivan? Yes. Oh my gosh, your your phone sounds horrible. Well, I know it does. What are you talking it's on it for? Horrible. Pardon me? You should get out to Walmart and buy a new phone. I, I, these are new. Do you want to buy one for me? No, but it's, I don't know. You should do something. You sound, you sound awful. Well, I, I feel kind of awful. Is it, is it, what, what brand name is it? I want to make sure I never buy that model of phone for my house. Well, I think it's probably AT&T. Oh, is it, is it a rotary dial phone? Uh, no. Is it one of those modern no, push, it's push buttons? It's what? It's VTEC. Oh, VTEC. Uh huh. Oh, fuck that VTEC yeah, shit. And, and it's a, uh, cell phone like thing. It's not hooked up to the, a line. Oh, that's modern and fancy. Oh, yeah. Yes, we're getting that way. Yep. Now, well, tell me who you are. Oh, this is Roy. I live down the street. I live over on Laurel. Oh, yes. And uh, I was lying in your lawn last night. And you were lying in... How come? Well, I fell asleep in your lawn. But here's the no bad... Yeah, here's the bad part. Uh, I, I guess I rolled over in my sleep... And there was uh -huh. there, there was dog poop in your yard, and it got in my hair. Well, don't blame me. I don't have any dogs. <laughs> but it, it, it's your yard. You should take care of your yard. I should. 
Well, that belongs to the association. Well, that's no excuse not to take care of your your yard. Well, it, I didn't know it was there. I couldn't even have to get out there and walk. It right. was really gross. I got dog poop in my hair, and I had to wake up in the middle of a deep sleep and go wash my hair. It was really... It's, well, it ruined my sleep. Well, did you need your hair washed or not? Well, yeah, because I had dog poop in my hair. I meant before. No, no, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't need washed. You know. Well, than, okay, but well, that's all you did, but you know these daggone women running around with all these dogs. <laughs> I wish I could understand what you just said, but your VTech crappy phone makes it impossible. You, can't you understand this now? No, yeah, I can. It's perfect. It, okay. it sounds really great. Okay, the girls that walk these dogs. Oh, I actually don't care night, either. I don't either. <laughs> okay, all right. But I don't think it's right. Okay, well, I think you should say you're sorry at least for getting dog poop in my what? hair. Well, I'm sorry you got into it, but you shouldn't be laying down there sleeping. Oh, that was a backhanded apology. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry you had to, had to have it. Oh, you're so nice. I appreciate the apology. You're you're the okay, best. Okay, good. I, good. I'm, I'm sorry that your phone sounds like ass. Well, it does. It's, uh, it's connected to AT&T, and that's the reason. Ah, uh, th- those jerks. I hate them. I do, too. I do, too. Yeah. But that's part of it. That's true, yeah. <clears throat> what can you do? I think we just drive and go ahead and put up with them. Yep. It's not like there's competition. No, no. <laughs> nope, definitely They're buying not. everything up anyway. Okay, bye. AT&T's buying up everything else anyway, so. Hello. Hello, Joyce. Yes, uh-huh. Hi, this is Roy. I live uh, down the street over on Laurel. Uh-huh. And uh, last night I was sleeping in your lawn and... Um, I, I I guess I rolled over and there was dog poop in your yard and it got all over my face and in my hair. It was very gross. Uh, I'm sorry. What happened? Uh, I, I was I was sleeping in your lawn last night, and uh, there was you were do- sleeping on my lawn. Yeah, there was there was yeah in the middle of the night, and I guess around four in the morning, I rolled over and there was dog poop in your yard and. Got it all over my hair. I had to go home and wash my hair and then come back. What were you doing in my lawn at 4 o'clock in the morning? Well, I was I was sleeping. Why? Well, I fell asleep stargazing. Uh, this is, uh, am I being fished here or something? Fished? What do you mean fished? What do you want? What are you telling me? What do you want? Well, I just wanted to tell you, you had dog poop in your lawn, and it got all over my hair. And Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I have two dogs, but I walk them, and I pick it up. So it's not my dog's poop. Okay. Well, that's good to hear, and and I appreciate the apology. So Cause I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I spilled my beer, too. When I, when, cause I, Pardon? I, I, I spilled my beer in your lawn. Because I got up suddenly because it smelled like dog poop and I accidentally knocked over my beer. I, I'm not understanding what what you were doing in my yard at four o'clock in the morning with a beer and fell asleep. Where do you live? I, I live over on Laurel, but yeah, I was just uh, looking at the stars and I fell asleep with my beer. Um, and then <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with this. I'm not sure what. No, don't be uncomfortable. I it's it's I sleep in everyone's yard. I don't like to sleep indoors, so I just sleep in random lawns in the neighborhood. Well, we've been having a problem with someone wandering around. Is that you? Maybe I don't know. I, I'm not a problem though. I I just like to drink a lot and sleep in people's sleep in people's lawns. What is your name? Uh, Roy Gerbel. Well, I'm sorry about the dog poop, but it's my dogs. Okay, all right. Well, I'm glad it wasn't yours. No, it isn't. But no. re- really, you should take better care of your lawn so there's not dog poop in it because it's so inconvenient <laughs> when I'm sleeping in your lawn and I roll over into dog poop. <laughs> you got to be putting me on. <laughs> no, I'm not putting you on and I'm not fishing. <laughs> 
Well, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. And okay. no offense, but I'd rather you not be wandering around my condo at 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Well, I was just sleeping mostly. I wasn't really wandering too much. I was pretty tired by 4. Okay. This makes but, no sense to me, so... Okay, well, I'll, I'll I'll just stick to someone else's yard, because most people's yards don't have dog poop in them, like <laughs> <Okay>. yours. <laughs> All right. Give me your, give me your name again. Uh, it's Roy Zerbel. Z-E-R-B-E-L? Yep, that's it. Wow, most people can't spell that. Okay, well, as I said, Roy, I'm sorry, but it's not my dog poop, and... I would rather you not sleep in my yard at 4 o'clock in the morning. (laughs) Okay. Well, no promises because I get pretty drunk and I just fall asleep wherever. Okay. But I'll do my best. Okay. Thank you. (laughs) Bye-bye. Okay. I have had enough of these. I am done with the show. So it's over. But I am going to revisit this someday. I want to sleep in more people's lawns and get dog poop in my hair. I was talking to a friend of mine this morning who said that she wants to get her own place with her own yard so she can lie in the yard and stargaze. And of course, my mind immediately went to dog poop. And that's where these calls came from. Really, who who the hell lies in their yard? Hobos, that's who. Only hobos do that. I'm not going to do something like that and get dog poop in my hair. That's disgusting. Today's show was sponsored by Robert Spencer. Thank you, Robert Spencer, for being a Patreon supporter. If you'd like to support the show, please go to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus when it's working. Once again, thank you, Ozzy Jack, for sending me this list of numbers and putting way too much work into a list of homeowners numbers by manually getting their phone numbers. I can't believe he did that. Basically, what I'm saying, Ozzy Jack, is get a fucking life. Don't forget to visit Phone Losers at Facebook.com slash Phone Losers, Twitter.com slash Phone Losers, YouTube.com slash Phone Losers of America, and subscribe to this show using a podcast app instead of YouTube. Because only hobos use YouTube to listen to this show. Thanks for listening, everyone. Hopefully I will see you in a few days and not a week later like I did last week. Just a couple days this time, I promise. Roy, and you laid down in my backyard, and you got dog poop in your hair, 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 poop. Your hair, poop. <laughs>